morning everybody we're just getting ready to head out to Soho area I think we're gonna go to Soho area we're looking right now for lunch where we want to go because we tend to decide which area we're gonna explore according to the food we always think about what we want to eat then we find that restaurant and then we'll go and eat there and then walk around that's kind of how we've been doing things when we travel and I really want pizza I've been addicted to pizza for the past few days I love the pizza here in New York City and I just want to eat it every single day so we're gonna keep with that plan and we're gonna grab some pizza, especially because you can find such good gluten-free pizzas and they don't have them in Tokyo. Well, they have one place in Tokyo only. I'm just getting dressed. It is freezing cold and pouring rain outside again today. So that makes it difficult to do a lot of the things that we wanna do because a lot of the shops and cafes and stuff, I, we just wanna walk around, but it's hard to walk around because you're so cold, especially if I wanna vlog for you guys. I can't really hold out the camera like this because of the rain and stuff. Anyways, I'm getting dressed and I'm gonna get dressed more for warmth and comfort rather than fashion. So I'm just gonna layer everything I can on right now. Try and set you guys down for a second. I've got these socks my mom gave me for Christmas. Heat Tech. 50% warmer than regular thermal outdoor socks. Yes, please. Whoa, inside it's like this fluffy, it looks like insulation like inside the walls. Perfect. Oh, these are warm. Okay, throw these on. I throw on my boyfriend's zip-up hoodie before putting on my coat so that I can just get an extra layer. Keep on this hat. Glove-wise, I forgot one of my gloves in Canada. One of the many things I forgot. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for that. And then I've also got these heat packs that you just stick on. So I'm gonna put them on. I've only got two left because I've been using them every day. And <laughs> this might be too much information, but the coldest part of my body all the time is my butt. Like I can get away with everything else, but my butt always stays so cold and it takes so long to warm up. I'm gonna stick these there. Maybe I can just like fold this <laughs> before, after. Do I have a Kardashian butt? <laughs> Someone should invent these. Someone, I'm gonna invent this actually. Um, a heated butt and larger underwear lifter thing that's heated. That would be a good invention. Okay. Oh, these socks are so nice. We're on our way to this place called Wild that I found when I was looking for gluten pizza in the Soho area. This popped up. I'm not even sure if it's in Soho or near Soho, but it popped up and it looks interesting because it seems like it's a healthy like farm locally sourced place that has vegan and gluten-free options, especially for pizza. And my boyfriend's into trying that, so we're gonna head there now. It seems like it's more in West Village. I'm not sure. Is West Village close to Soho? Yes. Oh, is it walking distance or no? Not really? No, too much far. It's too far? No far. Oh, not far. Maybe one, one mile, maybe one, half mile. One mile is like what? 10 it's minutes? Uh, what well, is to the, this one? This uh, so. Mm. Okay. Five minutes walk? Oh, that's good. How do you get then? Everything here is 100% gluten free and they have a lot of vegetarian and vegan options, especially for pizzas, you don't have to have the cheese. A lot of salads, pastas, it looks so delicious. I think I'm gonna go for this one without, without cheese and I wanna try the Tuscan kale salad. They also have a bunch of breakfast and lunch specials. the soup of the day which looks like a tortilla tortilla i hope i said that right soup and my starter is a kale adamame tofu salad it looks so delicious thank you it's got a lot of pesto on it 
really good and light and healthy. Just healthy tasting. Good lunch now. It was really nice and the service was really good. Um, definitely recommend that restaurant and we're gonna head down to Soho. We're making our way towards the area now. We're just gonna walk there and sort of see what we find along the way. I like this little area we're in. We've got the Soho area we think, but we have no idea where anything is or where we're supposed to go. My Wi-Fi doesn't work on my phone. Um, so we're just walking, but I don't know. I feel like we're not in the right spot. Like I don't see any shops or like just some food places along the way and it's cold. We found the shopping area of Soho. I'm in Topshop right now, which I always buy online in Japan, but we don't have the actual shop in Tokyo. So everything's on sale here. So I'm just gonna look around this shop. I just figured out there's an Urban Outfitters here. We don't have that in Tokyo, but I always be sure to stop by that every time I'm in Toronto or London or anywhere that has it. So I'm so excited to visit it here because it's from the US. I really love that shop and my boyfriend loves it too. Whoa, they even have an Aritzia here. It's my favorite brand from Toronto. Wasn't expecting that. measured I was a totally different size than I thought I was or what I've been buying all along I just went with what I thought so if you get the chance to get measured you should because I feel like wearing the proper size and the proper support makes a whole difference and yeah so I bought some stuff in there and um, and Urban Outfitters I'll show you guys when I get back to the hotel though. thank you you guys want some sugar? yes please I got a soy cappuccino. It's raining like crazy still, so we're just gonna sit down, and have a little chat and a coffee, and then get back out there. We're inside Crate and Barrel now, and oh my gosh, it's like a dream. The homeware is so gorgeous. Everything. Look at all this copper stuff. Oh, I love it all. I just wanna, I wish I could pack everything. Yeah, for the cheese. And they have all these like. Marble and rose gold plated things. Oh my gosh. I want. Oh, look at the little measuring cups. Uh -huh. Oh, I love it. I wish I lived here and I could just have all of this in my home. So gorgeous. These. I love that cake thing too. The wooden bowls too. So nice. Oh, this is a huge one and it's quite reasonable. Especially in Japan, they're more expensive. Oh, I love this. Love that. Oh my god, that serving board. I want everything. Babe, can we move to New York and decorate our home? Or actually, I think Canada has one too. <laughs> That's your answer. Okay, you can have that if we move. <laughs> Gorgeous this KitchenAid mixer is. I suck at baking, but oh my god. I would learn for that. Okay, we need to get out of here. I can't fit anything in my suitcase and I wanna go. <gasps> Sephora! I'm just running out of my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brow pencil, so I'm gonna go in just to buy that. I just need one thing. My boyfriend just bought something! Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't feel as bad because I've been shopping a lot. And I just met the cutest girl, and he was Amela, working in All Saints. And not just her, but a lot of the people... 
<laughs> a lot of the people in New York are surprisingly super friendly and I, I had a misconception that people were very like fast paced and cold and like not that friendly here but they are. I was so wrong. I've been having such a good time meeting people and talking to people. We're finished shopping now and we're hungry again. We're gonna go for some pizza. We got this really really good one last night. It was from a place called Keste and they have three locations here but it was the best gluten-free pizza I've had so I want to go and have it again tonight my last pizza unless I can get out there tomorrow but um, yeah so we're gonna go we, we got takeaway last time because it was so busy I guess it's a popular one and they have gluten-free options vegan options many many options and white pizzas red pizzas everything looks so delicious so we're gonna head there and get some dinner I think we're gonna eat there tonight instead of taking it away too. But it's a really, really tiny space, so if it's too busy, then we might just take it away to be faster. They have a huge list of gluten-free pizzas. Here's my giant pizza, which I can eat all of. I got the gluten-free margarita today. The sauce is so delicious, that's my favorite part. Back in the hotel room now, I've got a bunch of editing to do, but first I want to show you everything I bought today. So, uh, New York City haul. First up, I'll just show you this stuff because it's on top. Um, I went to Sephora for one item, but one item's kind of impossible to buy in there. I came out with quite a few. We don't have Sephora in Tokyo and they don't even ship there, so I went a little bit crazy on, th on especially brands that we don't have there. So I got my usual Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz liner in the color taupe. I grabbed two of these. Usually I have to order these, um, even their website doesn't ship to Japan anymore. So I really, I really was in need of these. I got them. And then I came across, oh, I also got the, their brow powder in the same color taupe. I wanna try to sort of mix this. I feel like this will give a softer looking brow maybe. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm looking forward to trying that. And then I found Urban Decay. And one thing that I really wanted to try from Urban Decay was their liquid concealer. I've heard so many good things about them and I've seen so many beauty gurus on YouTube using this concealer, their Naked Skin. So I decided to grab that. It's a weightless complete coverage concealer. I tried it on my hand and it covers so, so well. And my skin is quite problematic lately. I don't know if it's because of all the traveling and time zones, but it's dry, but it breaks out. It's red, it's flaky, sometimes it's oily. I don't know, but I just feel like I need a good coverage foundation and concealer. And I feel like this one's gonna work well. I do love the NARS ones a lot, but it's a little bit thinner. And I probably will still buy that one. I just want to give this one a try too. And then after I tried their concealer, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try their foundation too. Tried a bit on my hand and I loved the consistency. The color blended in really well. I went with the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. It's a full coverage long wear matte finish, waterproof and oil free in the shade 0.5 like that really liked the color and the finish and the coverage on that one so I'm gonna be using those then they still have a bunch of their Christmas limited edition packages in and I came across this one the beauty blender one I use the beauty blender every day to blend in my foundation I absolutely love it and it's kind of starting to, I've used it so much, it's starting to sort of crack in some places. So I needed to buy a new one anyways. And then I saw this, it's a crossover with Too Faced. Let's open it now actually. I'm not really sure exactly what's in here. It just looks cute because it has hearts and it has little doggies, chihuahuas. It's pink. Just caught my eye. You get a little light pink beauty blender. This I was curious about, it's like... Blotterazzi by Beauty Blender for Too Faced. A little con oh, oh, there's like two sponges and a mirror inside to use. Blot larger areas with the wider side of the egg shape and smaller areas with the thinner side. Clean with blender, cleanse, or use dry. Okay, it's just like a blotter thing. That's really cute. 
And then it also comes with the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlighting Powder Duo. It's just a little, little itty bitty highlighter, which is really great for traveling. One thing I've been after for a long time now is the Ambient Hourglass Highlighters. It's called the, yeah, Lighting Powder. And I got it in the shade Ethereal Light. I'm not a big highlighter person, to be honest. Daily, I don't really wear them. I, I do a little bit of shading, but maybe it's because I haven't found the right highlight and I feel like this could be it. I really love the way it looks on my skin. It's brightening. I don't know if you guys can see this in this light, but it's brightening. It's just slightly shimmery, but not too much. And it doesn't look like dry or like, I don't know, I don't like when, I just didn't like the way highlighters looked on my skin before, but yeah, I really love this one and I'm glad I finally found it. Then I saw Kevin Acoin. Is that how you say his name? I feel like I'm saying, might be saying that wrong. I know his foundation is amazing. He's a really good makeup artist and his products are quite expensive. Um, but I saw this, it's like a concealer and foundation all in one and it was open like this, the testers, and it literally looks like a paint pot, but the texture of this concealer is so thick and creamy and it covers super well. I, I feel like I could use it like mixed with a little bit of my, um, uh, moisturizer to make a little bit of a lighter foundation but the coverage was amazing and it's not drying or like getting in any fine lines i really love the way it looks on the skin so i grabbed that i have a lot of foundations and concealers to use now and then the last thing i grabbed as i was in line i love the way they put all these little items on the way to check out which is kind of dangerous because you're just like looking and grabbing things really fast before you get to the cash but i saw these um Invisi Invisi Bobbles. They're hair elastics that are these sort of invisible spiral shaped things so they don't make an indent in your hair when you wear it up. And that's everything I got from Sephora. And then I went to Victoria's Secret too. I'm not gonna show you guys what I got, but they have a lot of really pretty stuff for Valentine's Day right now. And the staff were extremely helpful, so nice. I felt like there was this one lady that was taking care of me, the one that I mentioned measured me before, and she like kept coming back and like making sure I'm okay when I was in line and stuff like that. She, my boyfriend was saying she was like your mother, like taking care of you, so kind. Um, maybe I'll just show you guys the bras. Um, I just got this plain black one. It has, if I'm honest, quite a bit of padding on the bottom, so it's really false advertising when I wear this, but whatever. And I got this red one, this really pretty lacy red one. Yeah, and then just like a bunch of different mix and match underwears. And then I also went, and then I went to Urban Outfitters and I got a bunch of hair stuff there actually. I really like the stuff they select for the home and beauty products. The first thing that caught my eye there was this Not Your Mother's In A Heartbeat Blow Dry Accelerator. It's supposed to reduce the drying time by a lot and it also provides thermal protection and eliminates frizz, improves humidity resistance, and what else does it do? Detangle, I don't know, it just looks amazing. And it's not tested on animals and you just put it in your hair when your hair is wet, blow dry it, and it's supposed to save a lot of time which is very useful for me. Then I also got this Dr. Paw Paw, it does it all. It's a seven in one hair treatment styler. It's heat production, reduces split ends, detangler, leave-in hair treatment, reduces frizz and smooths, blow dry styling and adds shine. Sounds good to me. I think it's worth a try. This one was 14 US dollars. And then I also grabbed this hair towel. Um, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to wrap your wet hair after you get out of the shower in this towel and it's supposed to dry it a lot faster. I mostly let my hair air dry, but people say that your hair is really vulnerable to damage when it's wet. So you wanna dry it as soon as possible, but I don't wanna apply heat all the time. I'll use this for when I'm in a rush and I need to apply heat. But when I'm not, when I'm just at home, I let it air dry, so I'll probably just start using this for that. And then I bought one clothing item from there. It's this 
baggy sort of sweater short sleeve dress and I think that's it. That's everything I bought in New York City. I only went shopping today. Probably won't be shopping tomorrow or anything. Um, tomorrow is actually our last day here. So we're probably going to go to Central Park and do a few last minute things before taking our flight back. So I think I'm going to get editing now. I actually filmed a whole bunch of vlogs and I just haven't edited. So I want to start getting them all edited and release one tomorrow morning, which is my usual nighttime in Tokyo. And then another one the next day when I'm on the flight and so on. So I want to get a lot of that done tonight, especially because it's raining and we're not going to go out anymore. I think my boyfriend's just going to go to the gym. Okay, I'm just blobbing on about nothing. Okay, I'm going to go now, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you tomorrow.